Uh, my name is Bruce Dyke. I uh, spent 39 years at the Androscoggin Mill. I uh, worked on paper machines all but two of those years. Uh, sat at the bottom, of course, worked up to a machine tender for the last four or five years that I was there. Uh, a great job. You know, that was where the money was around here. You know, for a guy like me that, that didn't have a big education, high school education, and end up walking out of there with six weeks vacation, uh, sitting in an air-conditioned room for four out of eight hours a night, and making $70,000 a year, that was a pretty good job. Great vacations. Uh, a lot of, all, all your friends were, because you work shift work, so most of your friends were the guys that worked on your shift, and so you did things out of the mill with them. I did a lot of hunting and fishing and skidooing, and, and it was always a bunch of guys that did that together. Yep. And family things, you know, the families would, would get together because you'd all be working at the same time or you'd be off the same time. And yeah, it was, uh, it, it was a good place to work. Yeah, yeah, very friendly bunch of guys and yeah, good people. Yeah, lived here all my life, born in Farmington, lived in Wilton, all of it. Yeah, yeah, had uh, have three children, all grew up there in school. With, yeah, done very well, and you know, it's been a, it was a great place to, to bring children up. You know, yeah, small town, yeah, good school systems. Yeah, and you know, and the the money was good at the mill, so you, you could afford to do some things, and you know, do some trips with the kids and things like that, and it was good. Yeah. You know, like my mother worked at a woolen mill in, in Wilton, and uh, my father was a, was a town sheriff for quite a few years. Yeah. So it was, was small town jobs. And, yeah, have an older brother, you know, it, it uh, was done very well in, in business. And, but you know, he left town, went out of town for you know, bigger and better things, and, yeah, I was kind of the, the hometown boy and have always enjoyed Maine and never really had a desire to leave. Yeah, it, it's sad to see what's happened to the paper industry. You know, it's an awful change here, the, what we were all brought up with. You know, it, it's, it's hard to tell. I mean, I, I said 10 years ago, you'd never see a new paper machine in the state of Maine. And they've built two or three and they're talking to building one in, in Rumford right now, which is a, a big surprise. But, you know, the business has changed. Computers, of course, uh, have eaten up a lot of paper. You know, for years, a lot of these paper machines here ran catalog paper, you know, big Sears and Roebuck catalogs and J.C. Penney's and, you know, your phone book was much bigger than it is today. And, you know, people just don't, don't need them. Oh, that's that has hurt some of it, but some of these companies have adapted too. You know, they've, tissue seems to be the industry right now, and where the money is. And, you know, I mean, it's sad to think that at the Androscoggin Mill at one time there was fifteen hundred employees, and now they're down around three forty or something like that. You know, and and it's very unlikely if they'll survive. We were always unionized until the strike came, and we lost that. Uh, you know, and I was a strong union guy. Thought it was a, a good way to operate. You know, a good way for the company to deal with people. And uh, you know, and it, it certainly helped us with bargaining. You know, we we got good wages and good benefits. But the company made money. You know, I mean, the company was making good money at that time too. There was years that. It was almost fun to go to work because it was a good bunch of guys and, you know, you'd, you'd always be doing something funny or, or something maybe you quite shouldn't have been doing, but we'd get away with it and uh, had great foremen, you know, foremen were local guys that had worked up through the machine and so you, you knew them and, uh, you know, very easy to get along with as long as you did your job and, and we had a great system of, of training people. You know, us younger guys would come in, the older guys would, would train you right on the job, you know. And, uh, geez, that, that worked so good for years. I mean, like, I would always know at least one job, if not two jobs, ahead of me. 
so you know if you had a chance you could you could move up a job or that might be a dollar an hour more or something and it, it was a great system yeah it, w it was a great job it really was uh, shift work was hard on families that was that was a tough part of course then i go to the doctors now and they say well what you do for a living well i worked at a paper mill oh that shift works the worst thing you could ever done in your life you know well that was our job you know <laughs>